Okay, we got audio this time. Jeesh. I did the whole video with the microphone muted and now I gotta re record everything. Hey everyone, my name is Murray. Welcome to the video. Uh, you can see I'm currently getting in the holiday spirit. Uh, and Christmas came really quick this year. Merry Christmas to you. Hope you spend uh, the holiday seasons with the people that you really care about the most. Make it count. Uh, speaking of people that we really care about, I'm getting married early next year. So this is probably the last video of the year. Um, yeah, it sounds kind of strange, but I will be back early next year on kicking away at new videos. I'm currently going to take a short break because of family and, uh, you know, the, uh, the honeymoon. But that's not what we're here to talk about. Currently, Stinger has received an update. So there is a new transition. Like I promised, before Christmas, you get a new transition in Stinger. Uh, everyone who is currently a member has automatically received an email and it is currently in your inbox ready for you to download your new pack. Current members have a free download to the upgrades to get this free transition and also new information that has come with the pack as well. I've updated the help file so there's so much more new information that you get to use in order to utilize your pack to the fullest potential. Now if you currently are not a member feel free to join the movement link is down below ampusfilms.com slash stinger. Join that now because when I add new transitions every month price will go up but if you are an existing member you get those new transitions for free as well as new materials to help improve your branding and make it look better for your content and for your viewers. In addition, I've created a new page on Vimeo where you can see all the video tutorials and know more about the pack inside and out. Uh, if you're kind of still on the fence, this will help you understand more about what's inside the pack and how to edit each individual Stinger transition. Link is down below, feel free to join that and check out and see all of the material that's included and all the different effects and techniques you can use to customize all the different effects and colors and motion and logos, usernames, everything. By the way, for those of you who have not yet bought the pack, there is going to be a hidden coupon in this video somewhere. So feel free to, you know, dig around and if you find it, great, you'll get a discount. And uh, yeah, let's see what this transition has. Okay, so when editing transition number five, you've got your After Effects and Premiere Pro projects here. So if we just open our After Effects project, this is what shows up. And just remember that any changes to the After Effects project will also happen in Premiere Pro. So for example, let's assume we want to change our logo. Let's double click the logo composition here. And what we're going to do is locate our logo from wherever it is on our computer. Just drag it into your project here, into the project bin. And then you can just drag it into the main screen over here and let's press s on the keyboard we can scale it down let's just scale it down to the recommended size here we can go to the align panel here and just center it in the middle of the screen that's great that's all you need to do now if we go to the render me tab and make sure that in the essential graphics if it doesn't show up go to window and go all the way down to essential graphics once that shows up make sure that you're on the render me composition in the primary here and then in the user over here, let's change it to logo and you can show our logo is going to show up. Now, Obviously, you can choose your tint amount and let's bring that up. And you can see it's now becoming a black and white kind of look because it's mapping to white. Let's take that up to 100% just to give you an idea what this looks like. Let's change the color to red just for an example. You can see we've changed the color to red completely. It updates in the reflection here as well and it's completely intuitive so it actually shows up in the environment now if i go back to premiere pro you'll see that in just a second it'll update in real time that's really awesome so let's just go ahead and do this back to white just to keep it simple and let's reduce that tint amount so that let's have our original colors now you can obviously change the color of the whole transition so let's go make it a big blue color and let's change the tint amount let's take it all the way up just to show you what's actually being changed the whole transition is being changed obviously you can take it down to a more minimal look so if i take that down it has sort of almost a blue tint to it let's take it up let's make it let's make it like a almost a red color here and uh, see what that does so it makes everything look very different to what it originally looked like so you can obviously change it to a whole bunch of different things and it'll update right away if we scroll down here i'm going to skip the user settings just for now because once we're back into the user settings i'll show you what that looks like so this shine here this is the sort of reflection over here if we want to take it down to zero let's take the intensity down to zero and there's no shine on it but let's take it up to 25 percent 
and you can choose between three different presets so you can have a smooth shine on here so it's not as harsh or you can have linear where it's even less harsh and you can obviously adjust the intensity so let me take it up exaggerate it a bit just to show you what they look like so let's go to smooth again and then go to sharp obviously this is not exactly what you want it to look like you're going to have to make it a little more subtle just to help sell the effect a little bit more you can choose how wide this effect will be as well so it's up to you and then these are individual color settings here so just to change this color and show you what this does uh, you can definitely customize this to a very unique look here so i'm just uh, making this super exaggerated just so you can see what this will actually do to it so obviously you wouldn't have these colors do this but just to help accentuate all of this you know what i'm actually gonna just go all out and just show you everything that it does so <laughs> this is a, a very extreme example um obviously you're not going to have it look exactly like that but just to show you the power of the whole thing and then you've also got your background color here so let's just make it a purple and uh yeah it's it can be very interesting now let's assume that you don't want your logo you would rather have your username so just click username under the user slash logo settings and then we'll go over here to the username section and just type in your username then once you click out of that box give it a chance to update and it'll update and there you go there's your username obviously you can adjust the scale so let's take it down to let's say 20 percent now obviously that's extremely small but it's definitely up to you what you would like uh, this has been updated because in the past current members have been saying that we, they would like to have a more robust scaling option so we've updated that in the pack for all the transitions so you don't have to worry about your logo or your username being blurry so when you buy this pack you get updates with those patches very awesome stuff and then i mean obviously you can see you can change the color here so let's change it to a blue and uh looks very nice again if you go down to the glow intensity here you can obviously change that and that's going to update on the top of the text there as well very very unique stuff and then when you're in premiere pro here and you're ready to render everything out you can do Control m on the keyboard or you can go to file and you can just go to export over here and media and then when you're exporting this make sure it's under quicktime and make sure you have the video codec under animation and make sure you match the source here so that it's 1920 by 1080 60 frames per second 8-bit alpha 8-bit alpha is very important because you want to be able to have a transparent or alpha background when the transition is actually active so that the background shows through or what's underneath the transition shows through and then you just go ahead and export and you're good to go so yeah, a very useful transition. Uh, every single one of them are built from the ground out in a robust way so that you don't have to worry about all the little technical issues or creating it from scratch even. So uh, you can utilize this whole pack to either have your logo or your username. Remember, you can use the coupon sneaky10 at checkout. You'll get 10% off and no one else is gonna know about this. This is the only spot in any of the channel or anywhere where you can get that discount and you're the only one who's going to know about it if you've watched till this part of the video now remember if you download this pack now you get it at the cheapest price it will ever be because when new transitions are added the price goes up so grab it now and you get a new transition every single month as well as new marketing material for your brand in order to increase your potential and your content for your viewers so you got that running for you if you enjoyed leave a like that really be appreciated and if you enjoyed subscribe stick around for the future there's more updates and new videos coming out editing, filmmaking, learning how to stream, and a bunch of other free downloads as well in addition to premium packs on ampusfilms.com. If you're bored of watching all the other videos that I've created on the channel and you've run out of those and you've downloaded Stinger Transitions, uh, feel free to join the Discord, link is down below. Currently we just hit 900 members, it's pretty crazy. Once we hit 1000 members, we'll do a giveaway to uh, the community. So uh, looking forward to that. Once we hit 1000 members in Discord, we'll do a full giveaway, which we've done in the past as well. So that's super exciting. If you have any issues with the pack, the hub file is there. There's videos, There's you can contact me through emails and also the Discord. Uh, I have a support team there. By the way, really appreciate the mods and the support team in Discord, as well as some of even the Twitch subs who know how to answer some of the questions of the community. You guys are so awesome. I really appreciate you guys. Honestly, the channel would not be where it is without you guys. Uh, the Discord has really blown up and it's really difficult to keep in contact with everyone 
getting back to all the questions that I get as well as through email because I get a lot of emails as well and I can't get through all of them. So really from the bottom of my heart, the mods in Discord as well as the support team and a lot of the other members in the Discord community, I can't name you all. I really sincerely appreciate the support that you guys give on the YouTube channel and on Discord. It really does mean a lot. It helps me continue to have a life because if I were just stuck answering all the questions, that's literally all I would do all day. So yeah, I really appreciate you guys. I'll see you next week or next year. We'll see. Uh, but until then, make something great.